The Seattle Sounders head to Kansas City to face off against a struggling sporting Kansas City side who are yet to have won a match so far this season and have only scored one goal, but the task might be easier said than done to get all three points. Hello everyone and welcome back to Rave Green TV and for today's video we're going to be previewing the Seattle Sounders upcoming match away from home this weekend against Sporting Kansas City. But before we get into all of that I do want to apologize that I wasn't able to do a post-match review and fan cams for the match against LAFC. I unfortunately got food poisoning. The night before I had some Taco Bell it didn't sit so well and I pretty much was on the... But before we jump into previewing and talking about my thoughts going into the Sporting Kansas City match, I felt it was only right for me to talk a little bit about the LAFC match because I did rewatch it a few days later. For me, it was a little bit disappointing from the Seattle Sounders that they didn't try to take it to LAFC who had a midweek match in the CCL. There were some moments where I felt like we were pushing the envelope, but for the most part, I think LAFC were the better team, which is why I feel like it's disappointing because they had a midweek match and still came to Lumen Field and probably had the better chances of the match. I know LAFC are the defending MLS Cup champions, but that was last season. We're supposedly one of the hottest teams right now in the league, and we didn't really take it to LAFC. In my perspective, I'd view this as a point gain for LAFC because they had a midweek CCL match, even though they did pretty much wrap up the tie in leg one, but still they did have a midweek match. And three points dropped for the Sounders because I think this could have been a really big statement win for us. But we played it a little too safe. We didn't push the envelope a lot. We didn't take it to LAFC as much as I was hoping we would. And outside of Albert Rusnak's chance that went off the post, which was more of a half chance because it was more of a scramble, the cross deflected to the 18 and then he just took a shot and it went off the post. Our best chance probably came in the 80th minute where we sprung Leao Chu in behind. He crosses it to Jordan Morris, but he elects to pass it back to Albert Rusnak where he has a pretty good opportunity to smash it on the volley from six yards out. But you know why he didn't do it? Because it fell on his left foot. The dude's gotta stop being so one-dimensional with which foot he shoots with. Because regardless if it's on your left foot, if you smash it on the volley from point blank range from there, yes, it could be blocked. Yes, it could get deflected, but it could also deflect in. It could squirm in. It creates another second chance for us. Or who knows what? He hits a clean volley and it goes straight into the top corner. But him being pessimistic and electing to pass it back all the way to the 18 on the volley for Rusak really kills the opportunity. But let's dive into this weekend's match against Sporting Kansas City, which on paper should be three points for the Sounders. Sporting Kansas City is struggling this season. No wins, one goal scored. The Sounders have to go into this match with getting all three points, especially with dropping points away from home against FC Cincinnati, which I felt was a game we could have gone a draw out of and dropping points at home to LAFC, which is a match I felt we could have gone all three points. The only issue is going into this match, we have a lot of national team call-ups, so we'll have a lot of players missing for this match. Rauri Diaz, Nuhu, Alex Roldan, Javier Arriaga, Obit Vargas, Reed Baker Whiting will all be missing due to international call-ups. And that's a big blow for the team, but I feel like that shouldn't be an excuse for us still not to be able to win this game. We will most likely see Freddie Montero replace Raul Ruiz Diaz up top, Kellen Rowe replace Nuhu at left back, and most likely Ethan Doppler getting his first start of the season at right back for Alex Roldan. And then outside of those changes, it'll probably be the exact same lineup that we saw against LAFC. And we mustn't forget, this could be a vengeance match for the Seattle Sounders as last season Sporting Kansas City was was the team to put the nail in the coffin to eliminate the Seattle Sounders from playoff contention for the first time in club history. So Brian Schmetzer could use that as motivation to motivate this team to get all three points in this match. But of course, the moment we've all been waiting for, let's bring in everybody's favorite sporting Kansas City fan, Kevin, also known as Kevincho, into today's video. So future Shion, take it away. We're here with the man that's probably, I'd say, the funniest man on the internet. Not, I mean, I, I think he's not as funny as me sometimes. I think he's even funnier than me other times. Uh, Kevin, I want to first and foremost say uh, thanks for coming on to talk about Kansas City and their uh, great start so far this season. Sure. Thank you for having me. Love talking about Kansas City no matter how bad we are. But, uh, hey, I'll take, uh, I'll take the compliment, though. Hell yeah. Look, uh, even if we're doing a bad time, we're having a bad start let's say okay and i'm i'm not freaking out yet but I, my expectations are so low that i'm just i'm vibing i'm vibing with everyone what are your thoughts been of the poor start of the season for kansas city um did you think with how last season ended you guys even though you didn't make the playoffs you're 
uh, in the standings wise, one of the worst teams. But you, you know, you you guys picked up a lot of points, a lot of wins near the end. You guys were catching fire at the end. If you guys were close to a playoff contention spot, you could have maybe won it all and squeaked into the playoffs. But how that's kind of the end of the season went. Did you think this season was going to start a little bit better for you guys with key players returning and whatnot from injury and, you know, making the signings that you guys have made? Did you guys think this season would have started off a little bit better for you guys? I mean, Every sporting fan was expecting since we, I mean, we were like second, like highest scoring team at the second half of the season. We were scoring goals like crazy. And we all expected like this season we're going to come in and we're just going to have a lot of goals scored on us, which that's because that was our problem. And then we would score a lot and we would just kind of hope that we score more than the, uh, you know, the opposing team. But yeah, no, this season started like totally the opposite. I mean, we, have i think two goals conceded or something like that and then one goal scored it's in four games or whatever we're at right now it's the complete opposite willie and tommy the guys that we moved in to to kind of help us out with alan and all our injuries uh they come they're starting the season both missed a penalty last game they haven't scored at all they're skying things in the air they're not they're just not playing the same and and then on the other side, like we're I'm freaking out a little bit. And then I, I know in the back of my head, I have players coming back hopefully soon. So look, I I think the the start of the season is uh, the complete opposite. But I'm I, I won't freak out until uh, maybe give me April, you know, end of April if we're still with like a win or or maybe or two wins yeah i'm i'm losing it i'm freaking out that kind of it kind of leads me to ask you kind of what are the expectations then for you this season with kansas city because of how bad things went last season you guys i was a little bit surprised you renewed peter vermese's contract i I mean i know there's opinions up for that he's basically gonna be a kansas city like all-time greatest coach He's in that kind of, in that sphere for you guys, because he's going to be there pretty much his whole career. But what are the expectations for you guys now for this season? He's been preaching uh, a lot of, uh, you know, stay calm. It's early. He says, uh, we got, like I said, a lot of guys coming back. And that's all great and everything. But problem is uh, now we as fans are starting to feel like, okay, yeah, Allen's going to come back. Johnny Russell's going to come back. Everyone that, you know, in Dembe hopefully is going to come back. And all these people are coming back, but is that even going to help? What if we still have bad tactics? The problem, like last game, we were up 1-0, and it felt like we were good. And then when they drew the game, Dallas drew, and then it looked like our coach was like, all right, we'll fight for the tie. In in the 50th minute, why are we fighting for a draw? It's like, what? So now we're starting to think, okay, what if Allen comes back, Johnny Russell comes back, all these players come back, but we still have a bad game plan or we're still really sensitive. Maybe we score one and we just hold off. He makes defensive subs. That That is the nightmare right now for, for sporting fans. I wasn't surprised that Peter renewed. I was more surprised that it was five years. I was like, okay, they're going to renew him for a year or two, and, and that's it. Five years is crazy, especially there was like some talks with like national team position somewhere in there, and then he turned that down, or at least the call down. He didn't, he didn't want to talk to them, and and that surprised me. I'm like, dude, you I, either maybe it's because he owns Kansas City. He's like the sporting director. He's the coach. He's, you know, everything. He's the face of the club. Maybe that's why he didn't want to go to the U.S. side where it's a nightmare. You know, everyone's parents are freaking out over their kids. I don't know. It's just a weird feeling. I think sporting fans are sitting here like I am not going to believe it until I see it. So right now, I think even with the the garbage, you know, added uh playoff format where you have everyone going in i somehow feel like we're gonna finish 10th i just have the feeling i just feel like i don't know i don't even think we're gonna get that ninth spot to fight to go to the playoffs or whatever they're gonna call it like the wild card game i know it sounds so sad because even like after the first week i'm like oh we're doing fine the second week oh we're just we're 30 shots on goal we had 30 dude like that's not normal and to not score is a freak stat so i'm like okay we're we're fine and and then we we still lose to dallas we look stupid in the second half of the game or yeah second half so i don't know i'm just not feeling i'm not feeling it for for sporting so like i said just all vibes i'm here until playoffs and then i'll probably be streaming everyone else's club no trophies no hell no hell no there's too many strong teams there's like there's real teams we look like Straight up, when I watch the games, I swear to God, I feel like I'm watching a 
high school team. I swear. Like, I watch, and I'm like, this is, there's no motivation. The passing is horrible. Like, everything looks bad. Even the 30 shots on goal, the the softest shots. I mean, the softest. Like, the goalkeepers, we're making every goalkeeper keeper of the week because we're just putting 30 shots on them, and they're just making the easiest saves. You know, they're just packing up their stats. So watch next week. I guarantee you, keeper of the week is whatever damn keeper. Oh, your guys' keeper. Uh, we play next. Yeah, Fry is gonna c- come out with the greatest performance of his life. I-, I just am so I'm so down bad, and I don't even want to be because it's so early. But a whole year like we had last season, and then starting you know four weeks in the same ch- crap, it's so hard to to be positive. So that leads me to ask you. I was a little bit. I think this game is the, I think this could be the game where Casey finally get their first points or even a win against Seattle. Cause we've kind of been each other's bogey teams. I remember there was a stretch for what, 2010 to 2012 where Seattle would score only late goals against sporting Kansas city. It was just late goal after late goal. And then there's, there was like what, two seasons ago where Kansas city would just keep coming to Seattle and, putting in three goals and they just they they look like prime barcelona of 2011 when they came to seattle and we're kind of been each other's bogey teams uh and then obviously there's like the 2012 uh open cup final there's last season where sporting kansas city was the team to put the nail in the dagger to break seattle's playoff uh historical run and now we're here and part of me is like Things have been going pretty well for the Sounders win their first two games, but now they've slumped. They haven't scored in two games. I think they've looked actually pretty mediocre, in my opinion. I know last one was against LAFC, but LAC played a midweek game, and LAC took it to Seattle. Like, come on. And um, so what are your thoughts going into this game against Seattle? Do you think finally this could be it or no, you're just going to, I know you're, I think we're both like kind of in that same mindset with our teams. We're kind of like, ah. Yeah, I think. What what I really think is it's a very crucial game. We lose a another home game, uh, dude. I if people think Reddit, you know, Twitter, TikTok comments are bad around Sporting World, you you wait till we lose another home game, and we're we're five games in, zero wins, two draws, three losses. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be people are gonna come for heads. So here's the thing, huge game for Sporting. They have to win. I'm not even saying draw. I They have to win. Do I think they're going to win? Hell no, they're not going to win. I don't care if Seattle's missing their star Peruvian or whoever. I don't care. It This team just looks so lost at times. And Seattle is still, even with the, the guys being lost and even with you being a slump, Seattle's going to come in saying the same thing. We got to win this game. Big road game. It's going to be awesome. There's a kind of a, a rivalry between our clubs. So it's like they got to win too. And if I place bets, I'm going to bet on Seattle. <laughs> I'm not going to bet on, on this team that can't score a damn goal. Are we going to get a second goal of the season? Maybe, you know, but Seattle will win 3 1.